I look at each of you, and I see the marks of this long and terrible war. We kick off in a place that fans of the uh, the, the first two movies will be very familiar with. Uh, it's the future resistance wars in uh, 2029, and uh, uh, Reese is sent back to save Sarah Connor, um, as he is in the original. However, when he gets there, it's uh, he's actually found himself in an alternate timeline, and uh, the course of history has completely changed. You know, he's a he's a soldier with sort of elite uh, skills and capabilities, but finds himself in a world that's completely foreign. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Uh, Arnold was fantastic to work with. You know, I don't think this, uh, I don't think this franchise survives without him. He's he's so beloved in this role, and um, you know, when I heard he was doing it, I was immediately intrigued and, and wanted to see what they wanted to do with this film and and the concept. And uh, look, he's he's great to work with. He's he's such an icon. He's larger than life, and he doesn't take himself too seriously. The Terminator. It is nice to meet you. I've been trying to teach him to blend in. I know it needs work. It's really cool to see him uh, having uh, another run with films again, and um, yeah, it's, it's it's a pleasure. I'm I'm, I'm sort of I'm stoked to be uh, a part well, of it. That was what you taught me. Where is he? Get out. When we think of the first Terminator, where we did not know what we were doing. And uh, to be involved in a small budget movie, six and a half million dollars, and uh, it was kind of considered like a B movie. And then all of a sudden, it became Time Magazine's top ten movie of the year, and the franchise took off and exploded. Load up. And here we are now doing Terminator number five, uh, Genesis, and I'm very happy to be back. I'll be back. What?